All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with question eight on CR number six. It says the fifth graders measured five trees on the school grounds. They displayed the results in a table. So they gave the tree location and then the height in meters. So near the parking lot, they found a tree that was 1.3 meters tall. Near the library, there was a tree that was one and four hundredths meters tall. At the main office, there was a tree that was two meters tall. In the outdoor lunch area, there was a tree that was 875 thousandths meters tall. And near the front entrance, there was a tree that was one and 347 thousandths meters tall. It says, how much taller is this tree near the main office than the tree near the outdoor lunch area? So here's the outdoor lunch area. Here's the main office. If they want to know how much taller. I know that's a subtraction question to figure out how much taller. If we're going to subtract decimals, we have to line up place values. So this would be 2.000 if we need. We're going to subtract off. There's a zero in this ones place. So I put the zero in the ones place, 0.875. And now I have to borrow way from over here. If I borrow way over here, that 2 becomes a 1. This becomes a 10. That allows me to borrow here. That 10 becomes a 9. This becomes a 10. That allows me to borrow from here. This 10 becomes a 9. And this becomes a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 8 is 1. I keep my decimal point. 1 minus 0 is 1. So that tree near the main office is 1 and 125 thousandths of a meter taller than the one near the outdoor lunch area. Which tree is the shortest? Okay, which tree is the shortest? Well, this, the two, that's definitely not the shortest. And these all have ones in the ones place, so those aren't the shortest. <laughs> Just uh, go place value by place value. So here, the one with the zero in the ones place must be the shortest. So that's the outdoor lunch area has the shortest tree. That has the shortest tree. And that was pretty straightforward because that has a zero in the ones place, so we only had to compare the ones place. Then it says, how much shorter is the tree near the library than the tree near the main entrance? The one near the library, the one near the main entrance, how much shorter? How much shorter, again, that's going to be a subtraction question. How much shorter? All right, let's find out. So we take 1.347 and we subtract off the one near the library, 1.040. Definitely shorter. 7 minus 0 is 7. 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. So it's 307 thousandths of a meter shorter. I hope that helps. Just about subtracting decimals and maybe comparing them. You just compare place value. If the ones place match, then you move to the tenths place. So for instance, here, the tree near the library is definitely shorter than the tree near the parking lot because this has a zero in the tenths, that still has a three. Subtraction and comparing decimals, it looks like what that problem was about.